Good morning everybody, Wayne Bolden. I'm here at the Speed King channel, of course. And as always, turn your closed captions on for us. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Nice way to support us. Remember, tip sheets will be available one week from for, uh, Saturday. We will have uh, the Preakness Steaks and, of course, that Friday, the Black Eye Susan. Please email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. They're 20 bucks a piece for Friday and 20 bucks for Saturday. Great way to support us. Well, let's see what's on the docket for this coming weekend, the 13th. Well, Belmont Park is open, the Big Sandy, of course. And uh, grade one steak race up there, the old man of war steaks. Uh, race number five on the docket, um, a field of eight, grade one, on the lawn, a mile and three eighths, 600,000, four year olds and up. And of course, I have an opinion. We'll give you our top three or four picks after handicapping the race. And I'm going to go right to the number two horse, Warren's Point. Well, Warren's Point is kind of near and dear to my heart by way of uh, overseas. Uh, he, uh, he is a Godolphin runner, and he just happens to be in my uh, fantasy club as one of my runners. And he's a heck of a horse by Duwabi. Of course, trained by uh, Charles Appleby. And we got Frankie DeTore in the yards. Well, this four-year-old guy by Duwabi has five wins from eight starts. Hello, two seconds and one-third. So, in other words, this horse has never, ever not hit the board. I, I, I've come to not expect anything but that from a, a dolphin bred and own, uh, uh, you know, uh, equine for sure, okay? I mean... They are just, you know, they just turn out beautiful, beautiful horses, and they got some institution going on over there, Godolphin. So, again, the number two, Warren's Point, uh, has been away since 84 days. Uh, last ran overseas over there, a mile and a half, ran second by uh, a half length, ran a decent speed figure. Uh, it was for a lot of money, I think, $2.5 million. So, again, obviously this horse is salty. This horse has a lot of quality. And we would love to see Warren Point win uh, for sure. So, again, our uh, number two horse will be our top pick. And, of course, there's a bunch of old-timers in here. And we're going to take one as uh, our second pick, Channel Maker. Well, you all know Channel Maker. This is an old timer. Nine years old, 51 starts, nine first, six seconds, five thirds, trained by Billy Mott, of course. Joe Rosario has the mount today. And it doesn't appear to be a lot of speed in here, right? Um, you know, so it looks like Channel Maker should get to the front here. And he's awfully, awfully dangerous when allowed to uh, bounce along the lead by himself. At worst case, I think he'll be sitting second. But the horse has always been speedy. I think he's lost a step or two, but I can't help myself. I'm going to make him my second pick. And my third pick, we're going to go right to the number six horse, right? Soldier Rising. Well, this is a youngster compared to a lot of these in here. Five years old, four wins from 15 starts, five uh, seconds. Three thirds. Mr. Clement is doing all the conditioning, making his five year old debut, the number six horse, Soldier Rising. Um, uh, Jose Ortiz is in the arms. Speed figures are uh, in line with uh, everyone else in here. Very, very nice uh, gelding for sure. By Franco. Um, there's just no reason this horse don't run a bang up race, making his five year old debut having been away for 168 days. A little longer than I would like, but it is Christopher Clement. This is what he does on the grass. This is a very high-end horse. So, again, we know that these horses are in tremendous shape because they're campaigned for these stake races, grade one, grade two. So there's a different, you know, level. So when these horses return after an extensive layoff from a top connection like Clement's, you have to believe these horses are ready to run. And I think that's the case with the number six horse for sure. And our third pick, well, we're going to go right to the number one. It's another old timer, just like Channel Maker. We're going to round out our super with Red Knight. Well, Red Knight is, again, nine years old, 11 wins from 33 starts, nine seconds, and one uh, third, right? It's money making Mike. Mike Maker making plenty money. Well, you got the services of Irad Ortiz, so what can you say? 
him and uh, Mike Maker are clicking at 23%. Uh, this horse was beaten by uh, Verstappen, uh, the number four last time, but I don't think Verstappen, the number four, is going to be uh, that fortunate this time. Got the services of Irad, uh, Gerard Corrales is off, Irad's up. So you would think it would move the horse up a little bit coming out of the Elkhorn Stakes on the 22nd of April at beautiful Keeneland. So again, we round out our super with the late, late running Red Knight. Let's, let me just make a side note. There's another horse in here if you're playing tries and super factors uh, that you might want to use underneath. The bottom horse, the number eight horse, Value Engineering, is a late, late closer, also trained by Mike Maker. So he's not one of my top four picks, but if you're playing underneath, please uh, consider using the eight in the third and fourth spot for sure. So there it is in this year's Grade 1 Man of War. 600,000 shackles on the line. We're going right to the Godolphin horse. The number two warrants point. What else is new, Speed King? He's being a homer. Well, I don't know if you think I'm being a homer or not, but this horse can flat out tiptoe, y'all. This one loves to run the Duwabi warrants point. Eight starts, five wins, two seconds, one third. If that's being a homer, well, I don't know what to tell you. Speed figures are all good. Pace numbers are good. I got Charles Appleby. I got the Hall of Famer, Mr. Dottori Frankie, right? So listen, the number two is our top pick here, having a bunch of fun, as always. And again, we're going to go right to the number three horse, Channel Maker. Should be close to the pace. Third pick will be uh, Soldier Rising, and we're going to round out our super with the number one, Red Knight, with High Rat up. So it's going to be 2, 3, 6, 1 in that order. It's all about the 2 for us. Warren's point, right? We'll box it up just because we always do. Then we'll key the number 2 over top of, of course, the 6, the 3, 6, 1. We'll throw the 8 underneath as well as we key the number 2. We're going to bet a few shackles on our uh, fantasy horse as well and as well at the windows because we love Warren's point think this is a very, very nice four-year-old with a bright future. Can you say Breeders' Cup? That's his future. I can see it. Let's see if the two can get it done here for sure. For the Godolphin Connection, the institution. Talk to y'all real soon.